morning my loves i hope you guys are extremely well i know i'm doing okay right now um so i've had this you know prophetic word for a while for maybe about a week and a half now and i forgot to actually deliver it i wrote it in my phone and what it was was i thought about it yesterday and for some reason i didn't feel the the urge to deliver it. i didn't right but then this morning, I felt the urge to deliver it along with the other ones that I received. And I felt the urge to deliver this particular one. So I'm like, God, maybe this is the right timing that I deliver it because I just felt this urge and this push to do it. So I just want to say, because I did see something in the spirit um, a while back, but <laughs> I don't know who this is for, but you're going to have a run in with someone like you are going to go to a specific place that you haven't been to in a while or you're going to like bump into someone. Make sure you guys like I take us all the time. Like you don't have to, you know, get yourself dolled up all the time and, and make sure you look perfect because it's not the external doesn't matter. Your heart needs to be, you know, in a good place. Right. But it is important to represent yourself accordingly. It is important to make sure you're taking care of yourself. You never know who you're going to meet in public. You never know who you're going to talk to. You never know what opportunities get presented. You know, sometimes you may go out to to the store to go buy something. And then, you know, that, that incident of you going to the store may, may turn out into an opportunity of a lifetime. You know what I mean? So it's always good to make sure that you are representing yourself accordingly. But anyways, what I saw in the spirit was someone had a run in with someone like someone bumped into someone they haven't seen in a long time. But the person that you bumped into, it's like they had these negative thoughts about you, this negative perception about you. They looked down upon you at one point in your life. They may have saw you as like, you're not going to elevate, you're not going to be anything in life. They may have saw you as a specific type of person. But can I tell you something? When they bumped into you, you are not who they expected you to be. Not only that, but you didn't even look familiar. Like you didn't even look like yourself. Like when they saw you, they didn't even recognize it was you. But you recognize them. So that's how like you're going to know because, you know, when I saw it, it's like the person didn't even recognize you and you recognize them. And when you looked at them and said, hi, how are you? Right. It was like they saw a ghost. It was like they couldn't believe what they were seeing. And this is because they never expected to see you where you are today. They never expected to see you look the way that you look. Like you looked so cleaned up. You look so presentable. It's like you just look refreshed. You have this glow to you. There's just something about your spirit that is shocking them. And there's a bit of embarrassment because the way the person looked is like they're embarrassed. It's like they, they're embarrassed that you saw them like that. But not only that, but they're embarrassed because the first, like, it's almost like the first thing they think when they see you is they start to reflect on all the things that they said about you, all the things that they thought about you. It's like they start to reflect on all the negativity that they projected when it came to your name. And then when they look at you, it's like you're the complete opposite of everything that they said and everything they tried to, you know, project on you, right? And again, I don't know who the person is. It could be a friend. It could be family. But here's the thing. Even though I saw this in the spirit, and this is a particular person situation that I saw in the spirit... This may just be a representation of like where you are today in your life. Like, you know, I'm saying look presentable because this is something that may have already happened or it's going to happen where you meet them in person. But this could be God showing me in the spirit, like how people see some of his children today, how like they once looked down upon his children. They once may have rejected his children. And, you know, the person that you are today, not a lot of people expected you to be that person today. And I'm talking about not just your physical appearance, but like the changes that you've made in your life, the sacrifices that you've made and, you know, just completely changing your heart, completely like, you know, being reformed from God, you know, being purified and everything. Right. And people seeing you today, it's like, that's not the man or that's not the girl or woman that I grew up seeing like you know people look at you and they're like that's not the person I knew back then and some people they're not going to be able to get over that they're not going to be able to get over the fact that you are completely different they're not going to be able to get over the fact that you are not the same person they grew up with or that they knew they're not going to be able to get over the fact that they were wrong about you 
hence why many of you guys you know you guys sit here and wonder why people would do everything possible to stop you to block you to slander you why were they going so hard with the witchcraft what was the point of them going hard with the witchcraft like i ain't doing nothing to them guy why are they attacking me like this because of who you are today this is what they were afraid of they're afraid to see you successful you have to understand that people that you know um that have to like spread your name in the dirt and people that have to you know accumulate to sorcery to attack you and do anything possible to block you and try to ruin your reputation you have to understand that these people are insecure and they saw they saw something great in you you have to understand that you're a threat to them your future is a threat to them right and this is why they were doing these things and these people have egos as in like you know when people start talking about you and you become a trendy topic in your family you become a trendy topic within a friend circle a friend group or you become a trendy topic within the workplace and people get an adrenaline rush off of you know speaking down upon you and off of seeing you suffer it's like after some time they become addicted to that high that they were getting when they came when it came to tearing you down they got addicted to that high and you know when they see that you are doing the opposite of what they were saying that you are or what you're supposed to do what they want you to do it's like that high starts to be dimmed it's like they start to be um it's like almost like reality hits them your life progressing is exposing them as the liars they are okay it's exposing them as the liars they are and it's exposing the things that they were doing behind your back to try to project failure on your life right and there's people that are going to understand the people that are going to know that and imagine how embarrassed some of them are to to be the people saying that you're not going to be anything to be the people saying that you're this and you're that only for you to be doing better than them like that is an embarrassment you see what i'm saying they understand this and that is why many of them they're not going to be able to accept who you are today and accept the changes and a lot of them are going to be shocked when they see you so if this is the running that you actually already had or you're going to have like the person looked like a ghost they were shocked to see you they couldn't believe it it was almost like they had to look at you up and down like oh and it's like they couldn't even speak it's like they couldn't even say you look nice or anything like that like they just kept checking out your attire checking out your face checking out everything about you because they couldn't believe what they were seeing and and it's like as they're checking you out it's like they're fidgeting around trying to fix up themselves because they're feeling some type of way because of the way they look and the way they feel about themselves and you can literally see the insecurities on these on this person and i honestly like i said this may be something that's actually going to happen to you but i feel like god is also using that as like a analogy as a representation of you know many people that really look down upon his children and his children are glowing in this season you know what i mean like look at how um joseph like look at how potiphar's wife lied on joseph and look how joseph's brothers you know tried to get him killed and, and then end up selling him and could you imagine like everybody that even people in the jail even the person that betrayed joseph like could you imagine all the people that had encounters with joseph along his journey to where he is you know uh, um accompanying the king could you imagine the people that saw joseph in, at the end like and and can you imagine their thoughts and their feelings all these people that did him wrong looking at joseph where he is and what's going on in their mind and how like many of them are feeling shame you know so that's what i'm trying to say like many people are feeling shame when it comes to your progression when it comes to you god has put in these people the shame like you know the way how they talked about you they did you dirty you didn't deserve any of that you didn't deserve any of what they said about you and what they try to do. You didn't deserve any of that. You didn't. And and them going around and, and, and trying to ruin your reputation to block you from, from finding love, to block you from finding success, to block you from getting jobs, block you from getting housing, to block you from any happiness in your life. Like And look at your life today. Like These people are shocked. They're shocked. And they know you didn't deserve everything that they did to you. They know this. And they can't be mad at God for blessing you, but some of them are. That's not the. It's not because they didn't want to see you happy. That's not the only reason. It's because their egos are bruised. Their egos are bruised because you becoming something great in your life is literally shutting down every single lie, every single rumor that they have spread about you. It's shutting it down. 
it is actually revealing who they truly are to the people they talked about you to. That's what it's doing. The truth always comes out. The truth always comes out. Even the friends that were sitting here gossiping behind your back and, and making you look like something that you are not, the truth is coming out. A lot of them are put to shame. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I did see that. And this may happen to more than one person, but God will show me it in the spirits. I feel like you, some of you guys are going to bump into people you haven't seen in a long time. And when they see you, they're going to be shocked because because it's like they didn't even recognize you. You recognize them. You see what I mean? And they didn't expect this outcome in your life. They expected worse. They expected worse. And it's sad. It's really sad they expected your life to go downhill. You know what I mean? That's how you know some of these people are wishing nothing but the worst upon your life. But look how what they were, were projecting on you. Look how it affects many of them. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, just remember to forgive them and pray, pray for them. Pray that they find God and pray that they change their life and stuff. But I'm telling you right now, God is shutting, God is shutting everything down that they were saying about you he is shutting all them lies all them rumors down people are finding out the truth anyways i love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye